Climate change is one of the biggest generational problems that we face. And I'm a strong believer in the idea that new technology can help us address really big societal scale problems. The inspiration here is, you know, we have a new technology, we're a bunch of talented people, and I think we can really bring some new solutions to market to help address climate change in a very meaningful way. We are decarbonizing natural gas and generating clean hydrogen. We do this with no new infrastructure. We do this without any on-site storage. So hydrogen is a wonder fuel. It burns clean, so when you use it, it doesn't release any CO2 emissions. And we're getting a lot better at producing hydrogen well and affordably. But the real elephant in the room that not enough people are talking about is hydrogen transportation and distribution. Let me give you an example. Let's say I'm a brewery or a industrial producer that uses a lot of natural gas heat to say keep my tanks warm or make my product. Right now, if I want to decarbonize, I can buy hydrogen from an industrial gas supplier, but that's really expensive. It has to be compressed and trucked from the factory to me, and that's going to increase my utility bill like 10x. Or I can ask my gas utility for hydrogen, but the problem is the gas utilities today can't ship hydrogen through their pipes, and so they'd have to you know, tear up and replace about 3 million miles of pipe in the United States in order to be able to do that. The inspiration for building modern hydrogen pyrolysis product is really rooted in the fact that decarbonizing heat is really, really difficult. Heat is energy dense, and especially in industrial and commercial applications, both the temperature of the heat and the volume of the heat that they need is massive. Okay, let's talk about pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the process of taking a molecule, slashing a hammer on that molecule, and breaking it into more fundamental pieces. In this case, we take natural gas, slash our hammer on natural gas, it breaks into two pieces. One is carbon, and the other one is hydrogen. So we'll sequester the carbon and burn the hydrogen to generate energy. So burning hydrogen is a very clean way of operating combustion. So that's how uh, the pyrolysis works and that's how the combustion of hydrogen works. Modern hydrogen work is really exciting. We deliver a small box that sits next to your gas meter and we strip carbon out of the natural gas when and where you need it. This means that our customers have access to hydrogen without the legacy supply chain risks that have historically come with getting hydrogen on site. At the end of the day, that means that our clients can get the fuel they need for the process heating they need, for the space heating they need, without changing any of their process. And this is a major breakthrough. Well, I'm Darrell Williams. I'm the president of Qualco Energy. We bring in about 60 million gallons of cow manure a day and about 24 million gallons of food waste a day. And we mix it in that uh, reception pit before we pump it into the digester. In the digester, we capture the biogas that's released during the decomposition process and uh, it's used to generate electricity for Snohomish County. You know, hydrogen is the cleanest burning gas there is and really help with the climate change issues. So if we can strip that carbon out and potentially use the carbon as a soil amendment, we think that's a dual benefit. Modern Hydrogen is backed by Bill Gates, At One Ventures, and other VCs, as well as a number of industrial strategics. Ultimately, the carbon emissions that we emit today are contributing directly to climate change. And a lot of companies emit a lot of CO2 through their normal day-to-day -day operations. And uh, if we don't eliminate that, climate change will continue to accelerate and become worse and worse.